In the last three days, at least three people were hit by cars here in Indianapolis, and one of them involved an incident with a man who was killed along East Washington Street. And tonight, Marion County reporter Lauren Kostick talks to the man behind a Twitter account hoping to spark new safety changes. On East Washington Street. Pretty tricky. Yeah, crossing the street. Not really built for pedestrian traffic around here. These six lanes can be dangerous. On a, on a wheelchair, there's a race car going by right now. Speeding cars and distracted drivers. Sometimes it's safe, sometimes it's not. Um, they need more lights so people can see where they're going. On Monday, police say 66-year-old Michael Allen was hit and killed crossing the road on his motorized scooter. Every time a pedestrian or a bicyclist is hit or killed, it's recorded on this Twitter account, IndyPed Crisis, using their own database to track an issue they say is only becoming worse. I think it's a very important topic, and um, it's something that I think for a long time a lot of people just weren't talking about. Eric Holt is the brains behind the project, saying it started as a hobby last year and quickly turned into something bigger. The numbers, you know, really honestly even surprised me um, with kind of having that feeling for what was happening out there. Those numbers compiled here, already showing six pedestrian deaths this year and more than 80 people hit in Indianapolis. Eric says the data comes from 911 calls, crash reports, and user submissions. I feel confident enough that the data is telling a fairly accurate picture of, you know, what's happening on our streets. IMPD and the city also track their own data, and a fatal crash review board makes safety recommendations. But Eric is hoping his project can help spread more awareness and create change. Potentially.